earth, wind, water, and wisdom. And we're going to talk about the last of the five elements this week, and that's the water element. Water is the most yin of all of the five elements. So it is the more receiving energy, quieter energy. If it's a personality type, it's going to be your introverts, philosophers. It represents the season of winter and death. So it comes after fall. When all the leaves have fallen off the trees, the animals have gone hibernating, and the birds have flown south, that would be the water element and winter and quiet in receiving and receptive. And as a society, we tend to be much more yang. We're doers. We're goers. And so most of our homes can use a little water. Um, what the colors to bring water into your home would be all shades of blue and black. You can use black in furniture, you can be a little daring and use it in a little paint, do an accent wall, paint some trim. That would be how you would bring it in through color. All your windows represent water. Your sinks, your bathtubs, your showers represent water. Mirrors represent water. So you could have a big mirror, you could just use a little mirror. Um, the color blue, so you could bring it in through a throw pillow, like so, represents water. Crystals, here's a pretty blue crystal that I have. Water fountains, um, you can't see mine, but it's right behind me. Probably can hear it. Um, are a wonderful way to bring the water element into your home. They're relaxing, they're soothing, and they keep the energy flowing and moving. And we'll talk about where to place that in the upcoming weeks about where in your house, depending on what you want to bring into your life or what energy you want to activate, where to place a water fountain. And you can buy a very inexpensive water fountain on Amazon for like $19.99. So you don't have to go out and buy a $100 water fountain. Um, glass tops, mirrored tops on furniture, um, also the water element. The only area that I would advise not overdoing the water element is the bathroom because you already have water covered there, even the kitchen too. So if you've got your you know, water running in your sinks and your bathtub and your toilets and all that, I would probably not paint the bathroom blue. We just don't want too much water. But as I said before, I think most homes can use the water element to quiet down and encourage us to have some time um, to just be. So that's it. We've done all five elements. We're going to start talking about where, what areas of the house are called bag waters and where they're located and what to place in them starting next week. So we made it to the end of the five elements. I hope you've enjoyed learning about them and we'll talk about more and more how to incorporate them and where to incorporate them as we go forward. Have a great week.